Alumni of Glen Hills High School are looking at future plans that involve closing that school down. It's a part of the five year master plan for the district we've been telling you about for the last few weeks. Our Nick Veland was at tonight's meeting and has more on future plans for that school. Yeah, well, this long term plan for Richmond County school system. Nothing's been voted on on past next year, but the rough draft has Glen Hills High School no longer existing past 2028, which alumni are wanting to change. Oh man, it's unjust, man. Sad. I'm a little disappointed to hear that the school that I graduated from that built me, a teenage mother, into an author and a motivational speaker is looking at being closed. Alumni throughout making it known that these Spartans know how to battle and they'll do whatever it takes to keep Glen Hills High School open. I want them to stand up and show out. Let Augusta know that we do care. Let Augusta know that we are a proud alumni. Let Augusta know that we did come from Glen Hills. Right now, more than 40% of high school students in Glen Hills High School's district don't go to Glen Hills. Richmond County's rough draft for 2028 includes eliminating Glen Hills High School and moving the middle school to the high school building. The elementary school will move to the middle school. It also recommends getting rid of Jamestown and Meadowbrook Elementary, splitting Glen Hills High School students between ARC and Hepsiva. Combining these students is creating fear with some parents. If we consolidate these schools, it's going to break out into a war. There's going to be trouble for the neighborhoods. There's going to be troubles for the parents. There's going to be troubles for the, the jails. There's going to be a lot of blowback if we consolidate these schools. The consultant says that these moves bring in more resources, which could bring in additional security and resources as a whole. But until the final vote is made, the Spartan community is looking to rally their troops together. We're going to get out here and try to support every, every time we can, every meet we have, every board meet they have, we're going to be here front and center. Please, please, please show up to these meetings. Show these students that y'all care so that they can have a future. And this was the first meeting to talk about this part of the plan. So the school system says that there's going to be plenty more to come. And pretty interesting state Senator Harold Jones, an alumni of Glen Hills High School, weighing in today saying that it's his hope that they can preserve not just Glen Hills High, but all of these schools that are on the chopping block. Interesting debate as they look at this uh, this plan. We'll see where it goes from here, Nick. Thanks so much.